whoa, 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 whoa. The career in law enforcement has expanded from a typical street patrol to a more community-involved role. One woman from Pembroke Pines Police Department has found ways to help our furry friends and give them a second chance in life. Hi, I'm Michelle Finelli, and I've been part of the Pooches and Pines program since 2011. What inspired me to be part of Pooches and Pines was throughout my entire life I've always rescued animals. And now uh, being a police officer and being able to participate in a program that helps save animals, reunite them with their owners if we can, and then get them adopted if we cannot find their uh, true owners is a good uh, community outreach program. It's unsung heroes like Michelle that continue to help out the community in areas that many might not think need the support or those that can't advocate for themselves. The world is kind of a crazy place right now and, it, and over the last 15 years I've seen it change a lot. But um, some of the more positive things are being able to be an advocate for the, our voiceless victims. Animals are voiceless victims. This program hasn't always been easy on Michelle, but she knows that doing her small part in the community is what matters most. We recently had a, a dog that was beat to death and that was really hard for me. So to know that it lived and it died that way um, was very hard for me, especially since right around that same time I had had to put my dog to sleep from cancer. So I'm thinking to myself, here I am exhausting all efforts to save my dog and this guy just goes and kills his dog because it peed on the floor. And at the end of the day, they just want to be loved and kind of, you know, shown a little bit better of treatment. Michelle goes beyond her duties by helping the community and caring for its pooches, even while no one is watching. For FSBA News, I'm Chiara Ambrosini.